Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'll be reviewing the new Eagle Ray compressor from Hong Kong Watch Label, Phoebus. Now, I previously reviewed the standard version of Eagle Ray, you can Google for that review, and I absolutely enjoyed it then. So let's take a look at how this new compressor variant, especially with this, you know, a lovely striking rate dial, looks. Let's see if it's any good. Now, let's start with the specifications. Now, first and foremost, the Eagle Ray compressor utilizes a double dome sapphire crystal. So as aforementioned in numerous times in my previous review, you know, I'm a huge advocate of sapphire crystal due to their inherent scrap resisting properties. I always look for sapphire crystal, you know, in my modern watches. It's also coated with three layers of uh, AR anti-reflective coating, so you know you don't get like uh, much reflections here. I should also mention that you know the water resistance of this is uh, 200 meters, so you have no issues bringing this you know to the beach, the pool, or submerging it in waters for a prolonged period of time. Although you might not actually be able to use this for uh, serious diving. Onto the back. You know, the watch is actually powered by the Seiko NH85 movement. You can't see it. Uh, I thought it had an exception case back, but you can see it underneath the uh, solid case back. But it's powered by the Seiko NH85 movement. You can see the second hands uh, sweeping there. So some quick specs in case you guys don't know. Uh, the movement beats at 3 hertz. It has 42 hours of power reserve uh, and you know, it's hacking. So if I pull the crown out, the screw down crown out, there you can see that the second hand stop. So the movement is hacking. So as compared to you know the Miyota 8 series movement, which generally the alternative movement see at this price point, I much prefer the NH35 movement. I think it's you know one of the most reliable and uh, workhorse movement under 500 Singapore dollars or un under like 300 USD. So definitely you know uh, really like the movement here on this one. Now like the previous watches, the metal bracelet of the Phoebus Eagle Ray compressor is sturdy and well made. You know, the, the bracelet mimics like the five link bracelet of you know iconic Omega Seamaster with alternating you know, uh, let me say it brings closer to the camera with alternating uh, polish and brush finish as you guys can see here. It it really does look quite good. I don't know if it appears on video, but in the metal it really does look uh, pretty well finished. Now the clasp itself, you know, is brushed. There you go. It's, the clasp itself is brushed, and you get this very nice uh thick beveled edges here. And you know, let me. Uh, secure again. Okay, can you guys hear that? So it has a very satisfying click as well. Now on the wrist, it's very comfortable, and there's even you know uh, micro adjustment slots here, so you can find the best fit possible on your wrist. Now on, of course, being a dive watch, there is lumen, and Fiber state that fifteen layers of BGW nine super Lunova are applied on the hands. It is embezzle markings of the watch, and it shows quite literally. I'll just pop out a loom shot here. Now, I would say that the Eagle compressor glows very brightly in the dark, so if you are loom head, it definitely won't be disappointed. Now, overall, you know, I would say that the Phoebus Eagle Ray compressor specifications punch way above its price point. It's a double dome sapphire crystal, 200 meters of water resistance rating, a solid Seiko NH35 movement, a sturdy bracelet, and also strong loom. You know, it's a rock solid watch for the price. Now, let's move on to the design. I would say that even though the specifications are solid, uh, the design of the watch is actually the attraction the main attraction of the eagle ray compressor here so even though it comes in a variety of different colors this fume red radiant uh smoke red down radiant is, has to be the most attractive one you know it's reminiscent of your of course your moser watches but in a much more affordable package the gradient red down is simply stunning especially in the right lighting condition let me try to play around with the light for you guys so you can see how you know the dial morphs in different uh lighting conditions now the Bring this closer to the camera, the applied indices here, as well as you know the frame uh, dead window adds depth to the dial. I also like the play on the circular shape, so you see you know your circular indices, the circular shapes on the uh, inner rotating bezel, the mini track. I like the play on the circular shape here, that is thematic. In addition, you have this uh, Roman mini track that adds a nice slight vintage touch to the watch. And this is further accentuated by the gilt colouring you know, of the indices and the mini track. And like the first Eagle Ray compress uh, Eagle Ray time only version that I reviewed, you know, it retains that syringe hands that again has that very retro looking vibe. Now, enhancing the vibes that coin edge bezel, this coin edge bezel here is reminiscent of you know some vintage inspired watches like the Auris Pilot Big Crown. Alternative uh, alternating sorry finishing can also be seen, you know, you have a brush case, but again with your polish beveled edges here. Now, on the side, there's a pair of very nice screw down crowns, uh, both of which are adequately sized. So you can unscrew the crown, manually wind the watch, 
you guys hear the winding sound you yeah, manually wind the watch and I'll go back screw it back in with ease it's groove for grippier feel so you know uh, both the crowns here is groove for grippier feel and it's, both crowns are signed with that octopus Phoebus logo so again attention to detail is definitely evident here the case back itself is fairly simple uh, it's just a adorn with a simple relief motif of the Phoebus octopus logo so while while it's not you know extraordinary, I did like the contrasting finishing present. You see the that the logo itself is uh polished, whereas the base is sort of like a bit blasted. So that just the position of finishing textures is attractive, although not uh, entirely re remarkable. Now let me just put this on the wrist and show you guys how it wears. All right, let me do a slow wrist roll. There you go. Wow, isn't that a very striking eye catching watch? Now with a 41mm case size, you know, the Eagle Ray compressor feels contemporary on the wrist but you know, it doesn't succumb to that over large trend that it, you know, some dive watches fall prey to. It isn't overly big, it isn't overly thick. On my 7 inch wrist, you know, it wears uh, well perfectly. It's also pretty, I don't know if you can see, see but it's also pretty slim so you know, I, I found myself being able to pair this with uh, formal wear with ease. Now, I think that the Phoebus Eagle Ray compressor is one of the best watches, if not the best watch that Phoebus has introduced to date. For one, the specifications are impressive for the price. You know, there's double dome sapphire with AR coating, 200 meters of water resistance rating, a workhorse Seiko NJ5 movement, Swiss Super Lunova, as well as a very comfortable metal bracelet. The watch is also eminently striking due to its female rate dial, which is interesting as it's more commonly found, some of gradient dials are more commonly found on dress watches. Coupled with some of its uh, vintage aesthetic features, such as a coin age bezel, you know, the gilt accents, as well as the five link bracelet. You know, the Eagle Ray compressor is a great choice for those looking for a well specced uh, retro looking daily meter. Now, if you're interested in this watch, uh, you can use the promo code WASOSHOK to enjoy 10% off all products from Phoebus web store. After the promo code, the Phoebus Ray compressor will cost just 324 USD or about 435 Singapore dollars, which I think is a great price for this well built, attractive looking dive watch. Now, the consumers seem to agree because at this point of filming, this particular red down variant is already sold out at the moment. Although Phoebus may restock it in the near future, I think that speaks volume, you know, about the inherent allure of this watch. Now, if you like this video, you know, do give it a thumbs up and do consider subscribing. That will really mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!